Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm walking up that long slope to Denham Station. This is Denham in Buckinghamshire. Over there's a the short main line. What we're doing today, as per the video's title, The Dangerous Bridge Has Gone, a couple of years ago I made a video here in Denham called Dangerous Bridges and Floods. If you want to see that, have a look at the link on screen now. And what we did, we went and looked at some dangerous bridges. Bridges that you either couldn't get across or you could, but it was a little bit dangerous to get across. Anyway, one of them you can see, or you could see, from the Chiltern Main Line when you caught a train into London. And I noticed the other day, it appeared that the bridge had gone. Now, um, it's not anything to do with HS2 as per the reason the bridge has gone. HS2 does run quite close to here, but that's not actually none of the workings I'm expecting to feature in today's video. It's uh, about half a mile over that way, the construction work for HS2. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look and just see what's happened where that dangerous bridge used to be and see if there's any sign of a new bridge being built in its place because it'd be a bit of a shame if there isn't because it was a really nice footpath when it wasn't flooded. Anyway, this is Denham Station. Always liked Denham Station. Used to come here when I was a child with my grandparents to watch trains. It looked a little bit different then because it didn't have the footbridge and the platform in the middle. There was a bit like a mirror image of this on the other side. But the most exciting thing I always find about Denham Station, if you're not watching trains, is this weird underpass. It's the only station I know that has something like this. Obviously many stations have an underpass, but not quite like this one. If you didn't see my Dangerous Bridges and Floods video, then um, you won't see this before. So I come down here and you emerge into this huge tunnel like under the railway. So what they've done, and obviously wasn't existing right away, and then the station underpass kind of comes down to here, continues, and we'll see that was where you went up to the other side. And um, but it also it accesses the path to houses that way and then Denham Village that way. So that's where you used to go up to the down platform. So it's a shame really they did demolish it, but I think now was subsidence, so that's why. Anyway, here we are, out the back of that huge arch under them station. As I say, I think that is the only station I know anywhere that is quite like that. If you do know of another one, do comment and tell me, but I cannot think of one of all the railway stations I've been to. Anyway, so we get to here. Now this is called the Pikel, this path. As I mentioned, it runs down to Denham Village, which is a very attractive village. I'm not going to go down there today. If you want to see my exploration of Denham Village, then do have a look at the link on screen now, and you'll be able to see what's down there. I can just hear a train. Anyway, that is the Pikel. If you look through the trees, you can just see Class 155. Now, there's various footpaths here. When we last came along here, this one said closed. We went down there anyway and found the broken bridge, but you could just about still get across it. To say there's nothing to say it's closed, so that's already interesting and intriguing. Anyway, I'm going to walk about a quarter of a mile down there and we're going to go and see what we can find. There we are. We are about a quarter of a mile down that path from where I was a moment ago. You can see there's one of the viaducts over the River Colne on the Chilton Main Line, so that way is going towards London. It's nice down here this time of year because with all the leaves off the trees you can sort of see everything which uh, obviously in the summer it's basically a green tunnel, thank you. Not so easy to see with the parapet of the viaduct but anyway that was a Chilton Railway's class 168 heading north. I can see the river ahead of us. I don't remember this fence being here last time. I think this might be new because over there, that is Denham Golf Course, which you can walk across. That's not the Denham Golf Course that has the railway station named after it, Denham Golf Club. That's, um, there's two golf courses in Denham. This one's in the village. There's the other one. Okay, now this is looking... So yeah, this fence definitely wasn't here. And it looks like the fence is taking us as close to the river as we possibly can get. The river water looks very high. So probably the path we went down underwater is going to be underwater but yeah the bridge isn't there 
the bridge was across there and it had kind of broken in the middle but you could still get across it they're taking some slats out to try and stop you going across it but you know people like me just managed to get across it anyway so let's just have a look so we can see any evidence i wonder if um the fact they've gone to all this effort to put this fence here and this looks like a fairly well walked path maybe there's a new footpath which i don't know about we'll soon find out anyway so get to here yeah i remember this is like a little sort of um gully coming off and that's again quite full with water probably in the summer that'd be dried up and then again dried up i'm just gonna follow now see what happens so most of the area over there is Denham Country Park. Going back to HS2, although well, HS2 isn't going to run through Denham Country Park, they have been basically built a temporary road through the country park to take some of the material. And there's another viaduct similar to this one, which takes the railway over the Grand Union Canal and into Greater London. That is where um, they take the HS2 construction machinery under the railway. So this is interesting. Look, public bridleway sign. And this is where the bridge was. It has completely disappeared. It's gone. We're not getting across the river today. Strangely, the fence ends here and the path appears to be well walked on. So you see in the lockdown, people did just go and walk around the golf courses because the golfers couldn't play golf. They effectively became unofficial public parks and they, it was quite exciting i walked around this one and one or two others just because it was somewhere different to walk but yeah um so if anyone watching is local from denham i mean i'm fairly local um but i don't actually live in denham everyone knows what the plan is we're going to get a bridge back we're we going to do that walk again because that walk on the other like i mentioned takes you down to the grand new canal is a really nice walk at this time of year it can be a bit underwater so it's um, not really a walk you can go and do any day, but it was a very nice walk. So I did it last time, as I said, if you look in the other video, I then picked myself a big stick and I had wellies on. I have got wellies on today, just in case I have to do any wading, but I don't think I will. And I was wading through the water with a stick kind of feeling each hole. And it was only on the very last bit, I got to where I could see dry land. And I stepped and I went right down like that and got a bit wet. What's this sign? There's a sign. Oh, so that's Uxbridge Rovers private fishing, so that's that way, so we won't go down there. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a a dead end unless I go down there, which I'm a bit unsure to. Is that another train coming? Is there a train? Or am I just... No, it's a helicopter, I can hear. But I was thinking, if there were no trees along there, that'd be, you'd get quite a good view of the railway line from there. That's how I knew from the railway that this bridge was missing. That's why I wanted to come down here to investigate. Anyway, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down there, to see where it goes. Um, if I see anyone from the golf club and I'm told to go back, I will, or I don't know. I'm gonna go up here, see what I can find. I've walked a little way down what appears to be a well trodden path. Yeah, train. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere though, because look, we come to another body of water here. Someone's throwing a chest of drawers in the river. And um, with the river cone over there, I can't think that there's going to be another way out. Or maybe, actually, yeah, that body of water, maybe that's just the ponds, because, yeah, it looks like I could go out there, but then I'll be in the golf course. So I think what I'm going to do, I am just going to go back the way I came. But as soon as we're here, and it seems people have walked along here, let's just go and have a look because I can see the river again. So we'll end the video down there. So yeah, it's been a bit of a anti-climax. I was sort of hoping to find out something a bit more interesting or at least find some information as to what happened to the bridge, but we didn't. So again, the bridge would have been there. I mean, I fully understand why they took it away. It was broken, so it needed to be taken away. And maybe there are plans to replace it. Oh, there's a train, just here a train crossing. Um, so maybe there are plans to replace it, so, you know, maybe we will get to that walk again, but I'm a bit puzzled as to what's going on. Where does this go? Uh, yeah, we're coming to a, a bit of a dead end. There's a path, it appears to be a path going down there, but as I said, there's uh, another bit of water, so I don't think I'm going to get anywhere by going that way. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
and um, like I say, if you know anything, if you know about the plans for the bridge or what's going to happen, then please do comment and tell me. Other than that, thank you very much. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And from the River Colne on a winter's day, goodbye.